one coaching cue and he fixes it. So there's a lot of body coordination and awareness there that, that he gets. He's I think he's going to be a really good place, really coachable, uh, works works really hard. He's got that first step that's just mm -hmm. doesn't have to think about it. Got that instinctual, boom, go. So it's, it makes it nice. Finally, finally on offense, quarterbacks. Quarterbacks. Good year for quarterbacks. Good summer. Uh, when you have that competition, you always worry is there, there going to be some type of uh, negativity. We keep in the same group, you know, and trying to compete. So we do a best worker, worst worker, and they compete every day. Who's going to get it? Is it the Gunner going to get it? Hayden going to get it? Ross going to get it? Sopko works his rear end off um, as, as a true freshman. They all do a really, really good job, and, and that makes it nice. And the, the rest of the team sees I'm working that hard because I make them uh, do everything everybody else does. For the most part, maybe change up some rotational stuff as far as core and core stability. But as far as the meat and heart of the program, if it's hard, they got to do it because you want the rest of the team watching them go through that same pain and misery, knowing that's our starting quarterbacking. Yeah, he's hurting just like us, and it works <laughs> out well. So those guys, those guys have embraced the uh, the challenge of they're going to compete. I yeah. mean, they're they're going into camp. They're going to have to compete hard. Yes, and it makes it fun. It makes it makes it easy for us too, and everybody else sees it too. It's, it's not it's not good for team chemistry when. If you see some animosity and you see guys not talking or guys just snippering back and forth each other, no, they're in the same group and they're going to try to outwork each other and, and, and get better. All right, that wraps up offense. Part two, defense coming right up.